How's she going, boys? My name is John McDonald, and welcome to You Got Questions, oh, I Got Answers. So let's get right to it. Read today's question. Here we go. Dear John, there's been videos going around the internet by Terrence Howard that basic math is flawed. Okay. He is saying that 1 times 1 cannot equal 1, and that 1 times 0 should not equal 0. He has a compelling theory and is making me second guess. Does that make him a genius? Mark P. Okay, Mark, I did some digging and this one is actually pretty easy. I checked out some of those videos and uh, the only conclusion I can come up with is he's no genius and I'm going to prove why. This is basic level math that you learn in grade 2. And I'm going to show how Terrence Howard is wrong. I'm going to break it down for you. Okay, so the first part he is claiming that 1 times 1 should equal 2 and not 1. And he's using apples as a reference. And here's his theory. But I don't have apples, but I do have a golf ball. So let's just say this is our apple for argument's sake. So his theory is 1 times 1 should equal 2. Because if I have one apple, and I multiply it by another apple, well, that's two apples. But that's not multiplying. That's just adding the apples together. And an apple, or a golf ball in our case, is a physical object in the real world. And we don't multiply physical objects together. We use numbers to represent these physical objects, and I can prove it to you. To prove this, take out your phone and open up your calculator app, and then look for the apple button and multiply it by the apple button. Oh, that's right. You can't do it because there is no apple button. It's numbers. And an apple is not a number. And now I'm going to show you on a grid how this works. Here's the easiest way to break this down for you, boys. If I got four rows of three apples, happy faces in this case, well, then I know that three times four equals 12. So, as you can see, I didn't multiply the apples or happy faces together. I multiplied the numbers that represent the happy faces. So let's look at his first theory. He's saying one apple, or golf ball in our case, imagine this is an apple, times another apple should equal two. But we don't multiply physical objects. And now I'm going to show you on the grid why his theories, they just don't make any sense. So one times one equals one. And this is how it works right here. Imagine this is my apple. So now I have one row of one apple. One times one equals one. Now his other claim that one times zero should equal one because he says, and I quote, anything times zero is zero, right? How can you have an object and then nothing? Where does it go? Well, in math, the rule is not anything times zero, it's any number times zero. You see where I'm going with this? Remember, we can't multiply physical objects in the real world, just the numbers that represent them. So let's go back to our grid. And Terrence Howard is suggesting anything times zero is zero, but it, how can that be? Because where does it go? So he's there saying anything times zero, but I can't multiply this by zero. I have to use numbers to represent this. So let's go to the grid. We have one row with zero in it equals <gasps> zero. Doesn't get much easier than that. So just remember, comparing numbers to physical object is like comparing apples to numbers. They're not the same thing. Hope that answers your question, buddy.